Hey, it's Alvin Jones for Planet Vehicle, and today we are sitting inside of the new Fiat 500 Cabrio. It is the first time in 28 years that Fiat has come back to America, so we are looking forward to that. If you know about Fiat's history, you'll remember the Spider and the X19, and those were some great cars, and now Fiat's back. Of course, Fiat is a majority stake owner in Chrysler, and uh, as of this taping the day before, uh, Fiat had paid back loans that were given to Chrysler by the United States government about six years in advance. So it's a good day, the sun is out, we're going to take a ride and also we're going to talk to Laura Suave. Now Laura is the uh, head of Fiat North America, so she's going to be talking to us also about Fiat. It's Planet Vehicle, I'm Alvin Jones and if you know about the history, you know Italy, America and travel go way back. I'm talking about 1492 when Christopher Columbus, an Italian, came to America. And even in travel, Italian-Americans have been a part of this. If you think about it, LaGuardia Airport, named after Fiorello, LaGuardia, the, the, uh, the mayor of New York. But now, I remember going to Howard University, and on 4th Street, 6th Street, and Georgia Avenue, which are the main drags, the uh, students who had parents of means used to drive the Fiat Spider and the X19. And I knew at that time as a freshman, it would be time for me to get an education so I can get some money so I can get a Fiat. But then Fiat left. But now I have a lady who everybody is going to be liking because she's bringing Fiat back. Laura Suave, Thank who you. is the, uh, the head of Fiat North America. How you doing? I am fantastic. And yeah, it's been a long wait, 28 years. So you, I hope you've saved a little bit of money. I've saved a lot of money. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So let's talk about what did it take to bring Fiat back to America? Well, what, what's great about it is, um, you know, this is a proven product behind us. The Fiat Cinquecento, it went on sale in 2007 in Europe and it's sold in over 60 countries. So we have a proven product, which was great. So we had an amazing product to start with. And through the partnership between Fiat and Chrysler, we have amazing dealers here. So we had a really great foundation, and so what we just did is we wanted to make sure that this time the product was right. And uh, we wanted to enhance it for the American consumer and American roads. So we got our engineers from Turin together with our engineers in Detroit, and we've got an amazing product, and here we are. That's true, and I understand that Fiat brought you up. You were Volkswagen at one time. You were general manager of Volkswagen, and they decided to, to steal you away so you can help promote this great car. I was, and again, this is something that's near and dear to my heart, this brand. I'm a first-generation American, so my parents came over from Italy. So I grew up with Fiat. We used to go home in the summertime, and I saw these everywhere. And again, this is something so much more passionate. And um, it means a lot to the Italian community in Italy. And so I wanted to share that passion and that love of a vehicle with Americans. So it was a great opportunity for me. Now, Fiat is a, a strong stakeholder in Chrysler. Did that help bring the brand back into the United States, their partnership with Chrysler? Well, I think, again, Fiat is an expert at small cars. They've, they've been doing this for over 100 years. Chrysler has expertise in larger cars and trucks. So it was just a perfect marriage because we could bring our expertise over from Turin and um, blend it with, uh, you know, the great experts at Chrysler. Yeah. If a person goes out, goes to a Fiat dealer, and gets into the 500, either the 500 or the Cabrio, what can they expect to see and feel inside of the car? Okay, first they're gonna go to a Fiat studio. Because it's a studio. It's a studio, okay. Because you have to remember, this is Italian, so it's not a store, it's a studio. Right, right, exactly. So it's a great Fiat studio, and the reason we said it's a studio is because the Cinquecento is very much like a blank canvas and you can really customize this over 500,000 ways. We have 14 colors, 12 interiors, tons of accessories, graphics, so it is truly a canvas that you can make it unique. So uh, we wanted to, to make the experience inside the studio very unique also. But what you can expect when you get in this, and the word that I always use is surprise. It's a huge surprise. It looks like a small car, and then you get inside and you're amazed at the amount of space that you have. You're amazed at the fit and finish and the quality of the materials because the small car segment has typically been an entry level segment that you had to make a lot of compromises. Basic transportation. And that's where I think we really can carve out a unique space for the return of the app. We can provide the innovative features, we can provide the design and style, and all at an amazing price. This baby starts at $15,500.
Wow, and you have 500,000 different ways to do it. It's almost like a, an, an app for your car. Like you have your iPhone, you have the App Store. So you go to the Fiat Studio and you get your Fiat 500 apps and you just put it the way you want it. Exactly. And uh, we've seen, like, even the traffic on our website at FiatUSA.com. People just sit there and play and play and they can, you know, customize it, build it a lot of ways, share it with your friends. So it's, it's a lot more fun. We're putting fun back into the process of buying a vehicle. So. FiatUSA.com, that's where you go. Laura, thank you so very much, thank and you thank too. you for bringing Fiat back to America. And uh, we're looking for great things, and of course, we're going to take a ride in the Fiat 500 and the Cabrio. We'll be back with more. This is Planet Vehicle. So this is Fiat's return after 28 years to America. And with the 500 Cabrio, I got to tell you, it's about the styling, it's about the look. This thing has a Bose sound system that's just kicking, and uh, you can't help but have fun in this car. This car will change your attitude. It will bring out the fun in you. So if you ever have a gloomy day, I got to tell you, just drop the top on the cabrio and head on down the road, and you will have definite excitement. Now, it looks small from the outside, but once you get in, you'll realize that this has some great, great comfort as far as features as comfort. Uh, everything is right by your hands. You can touch it, and there's plenty of space. Uh, folks who have been over six feet tall during the luncheon that we had today with the Washington Automotive Press Association have gotten in. At first, being on the outside, they thought that maybe this wouldn't work, and then they realized that it did work. We're riding down the uh, GW Parkway, George Washington Parkway, in between Old Town Alexandria and Mount Vernon, of course, George Washington's uh, home. And we're in the Cabrio, and I got to tell you, this is a fun ride. The sun is out, a little bit of, you know, sweat on my brow, but I got to tell you, you know what? I don't want to put this top up. I want to keep it the way it is because I am enjoying this, driving the Fiat. 500 Cabrio. Like I said, after 28 years, it's finally back, and it's doing, as they say, doing it big. I just love this. Look at all of the space here that you have. You got seating for four. I'm looking at the interior with the red seats, with the uh, white trim. This is a great looking car. It is also great as far as handling, as far as pickup. I mean, if I, if I want to hit the gas and move, I can, watch. Now, this is the kind of car that makes you not want to ride the bus or the metro. It makes you want to just drive, because driving a cabrio by Fiat is its own reward. I got to tell you that. This, look at it. It's just a beautiful day in the neighborhood, and you can't get any more beautiful than this. This is a day that the Lord has made, and this is a car that Fiat has made. In between it, we've got some great things going on. That was exciting. For more information, go to FiatUSA.com, and I love this Fiat. Open air, fun. This is something great to have whenever the weather is great, or just anytime. For a Planet Vehicle, I'm Alvin Jones.